Y'all, so how to stop playing with me. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the first step to leveling up when you're down, or I guess in my little routine, the first thing that I usually do is do my eyebrows. So as y'all can tell, look at my freaking eyebrows. Like, my eyebrows look crazy. So I'm about to do my eyebrows right now. Hold on, let me get my stuff. So, I do usually only do my eyebrows because ever since I was small, I don't know if y'all can see. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. I have like gaps like in there can y'all see like gaps like that and anytime like I will go get them done my mom would come with me to like watch over them to make sure they don't make my eyebrows too thin so since then I've been like scared to go and get my eyebrows done so I usually just do them myself because I know how I like them and I can make sure that I don't take off too much um so I'm about to do them for y'all because this is literally the first step I hate when my eyebrows are not done because they're so much easier to fill in when they're done. Like, if you know, you freaking know. And then I also, the next step for today, this will actually be a two-part video. So make sure y'all go like this video because I'm putting two days into this. Like, y'all have to. I'm putting so much effort into it. But as y'all can see, my hair looks crazy. Like, look at my freaking edges. Like, my hair looks so crazy. And this is an install. So I think that... I am going to wash the install and restyle it, touch it up, tighten some of the tracks. You know how that go because I have only had this for like a week and a half, I think. But I'm tired of having long middle straights. So I actually think I'm going to cut it into a bob. So that goes into the next part of the video. But I'm about to do my brows. So when I do my brows, I do nair them. Oh, let me, hold on. First step, y'all wipe your freaking face off because you do not want to break out or anything now sometimes when i nair them i do get like irritation and redness by my eye but it usually goes away after i put some oil on it and in like 24 hours it'll go away so if it does get red y'all do not worry it will literally be gone tomorrow it just does that for a short period of time so as y'all can see like i have all of these hairs can y'all see them hairs under there, hairs up there? Like, nothing looks good right now. But watch when y'all see the final result. So, I start by just brushing them out. That way, I don't take off anything that I would have wanted. Y'all, my eyebrows look disgusting. Look at this. I usually do them probably once a week. Because I feel like the hair right here be growing back so fast. And even if you try to conceal it, like it doesn't look as clean as when your brows are freshly done. So I usually do them like once a week. But I've been trying to finish up with school and stuff. Which is another reason why this video is so needed. Like you need to get cute hair in there. You know, take pictures. Um, And I haven't been able to because I've been trying to finish up school for real. So, I also haven't been able to do my eyebrows. So, first things first, I do use Nair, but make sure y'all get the one for your face. That will make a difference in whether that junk freaking makes you break out or not. Okay, so you want to make sure you pull your hair back. Mine is already pulled back by this scarf because you don't want to accidentally get the Nair in your hair and then your hair is falling out. Um, so, then I have a small brush. I just use a makeup brush. And I'm literally going to, I'm going to turn this way so y'all can see. But I literally just line the parts that I want to take off, take the hair off from. Um, don't be afraid. Like, if you get it on your eyebrow, you can easily wipe it off. But. The parts with more hair, you kind of want to tap it on there. Just to make sure it will take all the hair off. So as y'all can see on the bottom, I do a really, really light cleanup on the bottom. Just very light cleaning up those hairs that, you know, didn't align. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the top and just outline however, you know, shape up, whatever shape I want. But 
like I said, don't worry. If you do get some on your brow, you can literally take a Q-tip and wipe it off. As long as it's not there that long, you'll be good. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this eye. So it's currently 1041. So I literally just leave it on for about five minutes. So while I do the other one, this one is going to sit. If you feel it burning, um, that's usually okay. Like mine is burning now and I feel like it'll be okay. But if it's burning too bad, then I would probably say just go ahead and wipe it off. But, hold on. With anything you do that you like put on your face or anything, you always want to do like a test patch. So if you think you want to use this, do like test a small part of your face on your face first and make sure that your skin doesn't get irritated too badly. okay so that's basically how they look right now and it is only 10 45 so i'm probably going to wait two more minutes for this one and then i'm going to wait five minutes for this one and then i'm going to wipe it off so i will be back when it's time to wipe them off okay so it's 10 46 now so i'm going to go ahead and wipe this one off and let y'all see so i'm literally just taking a wipe and i'm wiping it if you feel, look at all this hair, y'all. Look at this hair. Do y'all see all of that freaking hair? Like, no. This is so needed. Um, If you feel like you did not take off enough, you can always go back in. I just wouldn't recommend doing it too many times because you don't want to irritate your skin so y'all can see a little bit my skin is getting a little red but this is actually not as bad as it usually is um so literally look at that y'all tell me that that does not look much better like period right, so it's time to wipe off this one so let's get into it you usually know when it's time to wipe it off because, oh my God, y'all. Look at this hair on here. Literally ridiculous. But you usually know when it's time to wipe it off because it'll start to, you know, be a little irritated. But literally, this is how they look. Period, brought back to life. So now I'm gonna go wash and blow dry my hair and then I will be back so we can snip, 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 snip. Cut it up, baby. Bobby Yana on the way, period. Literally, having your brows done, I know I'm gonna go, but having your brows done just makes such a, a big difference. But all right, y'all, I will be back. All right, you guys, so I am back and I am better. When we say the look is coming together, the look is coming together. Like, so I washed my hair, blow dried it, and I re-straightened it. And as I'm looking at it, y'all, like, I don't even know if I still want to cut it. But I'm not going to chicken out. I'm not going to chicken out. But I'm just like, it looks so cute straight. Like, I love a cute middle part bone straight. Like, really my signature hairstyle. But before we even get into the cutting of Miss Bobbiana, I need to do something else. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my hair back for this part. I literally have the worst flyways in the world. Like, it's ridiculous. But, okay. So, okay. So, when I was in my restroom looking for my hair stuff, I found this. And I actually haven't used this in a little minute. But I'm like, maybe I should do it since I'm doing this video. And this is a level up when you're down video and this is gonna help me level up. 
So I'm about to tint my eyebrows. Mind y'all, I have done this before. I wonder if, did I put that in the video? I don't know, I think I may have, but if I didn't, we about to put it in this one. So, basically, I got this off Amazon. I've used this before, I really like it. Um, the only thing that I would say about it is it probably only lasts maybe like a week, maybe two weeks, but really like a week. Um, I have it in the color dark brown, and yeah, this is it. So basically, also if you do decide you wanna do this, definitely, definitely do a test patch first because I have actually seen that someone's eyebrow hairs fell out from doing this. So do a test patch first um, before you do it. But anyway, so I take a capsule. I only use like half of the capsule because, I mean, that's pretty much all you really be needing. And they give you this little thing and I'm just about to pour half of it in there. I'm low key spilling it. Oops. Okay. So it's like that much in there. Can y'all see? Yeah. Like that much in there. Literally you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And then I literally bought this so long ago. I don't use it as much. Just because I usually fill my brows in with makeup still. So it's like sometimes kind of pointless. But I want to do it for today. So then you take this. This is the developer. And you put this in there. Um, there's probably certain measurements. But when I do it, I just put enough to make the mix, you know, have a good texture. So that it can apply good. Um, so that was just two little drops. And I'm literally about to mix this. And of course, you know. As your mom always tells you, you can always add more, but you can't take away. So I literally need to add a little more. Cause once, you'll know when the consistency is good enough, but like right now it's still too thick. So I just need to add probably one more drop. Um, yeah, and now I think it's good. So let me show y'all what it looks like. So kind of like mud a little bit. Um, so yeah, so now literally what I'm about to do y'all, I already did my eyebrows. I do recommend that you do this before you do your eyebrows because one time I actually did it before I did my eyebrows and I felt like I took away too much of my actual eyebrow hairs. Um, so arch your eyebrow before you tint them. I would recommend that. Um, so literally I'm just going to brush it like that and let me turn to y'all's direction so y'all can see. And then with this, you definitely want to start with the end. And I don't really apply to the front until like, hold on. until I'm about to take it off only because, you know, you kind of want to have that light to dark effect. So you don't want to put it on the front too early or like on the front when you do the rest of it. So I'm literally just dabbing it. You want to dab it in there first to get the color in there good. And then you can kind of go in and, you know, like you're doing a brow. So as y'all can see, I'm literally like putting it on. And I'm only gonna go halfway right here because I don't do this part to the end. As y'all can see, I'm literally just dabbing it like that. And now I'm about to go in with some Q-tips just to clean it up because you know, you don't wanna die outside the lines. So I'm just doing the Q-tip, see that? Just to clean it up, to make sure none of the dye is in the wrong spot. Okay, so that's that. So what time is it? So it is 12, 18. So I usually leave it on for about five minutes. So once it turns to 12 20 i'm gonna go ahead and do the front because i don't like it to sit on the front as long like i said so now i'm about to do the other brow while i let this sit and i'm just gonna do the same thing i 
Okay, so I know it looks a lot, really, really dark, but it's literally not going to be this dark once you wipe it. So don't even worry about that. As long as you get the right color, like I said, this is color dark brown, which is like the color I use for my brows. You'll be fine as long as you don't, you know, get a color too dark. Like you wouldn't want to do black. I feel like that might look too dark. This dark brown gives you like a natural A natural brow color if you accidentally put it on too soon that is still okay um because it will fade after a while but you know just try not to so that's this one and I'm gonna leave it on for two more minutes and then I'll take it off. And this side, what time is it? 12.20, so 12.25, I'll take this one off. All right, you guys, so what I did, um, it's been five minutes for this one. Um, so basically I got a little, you know, the little pad things and I put it under hot water and I kinda dab it first on my eye and then I go ahead and wipe it. As y'all can see, it's coming off. And this is how it's looking. I literally love this brow tint just because, as y'all can see, it looks so natural. It literally, like, just kind of fills in those gaps and doesn't do too much. Okay, now let me do the front to the other side before I leave this on too long. If you feel like you do too much, go in with that Q-tip and clean it up before it dries. All right, y'all, so this is the final result. Ooh, sheesh, sheesh. I'm dead, y'all can't tell me that mom look good. Period. Um, But yeah, so that's that, those are the brows. I'm probably gonna still fill them in, but I like doing the tint stuff and of course you know we have to clean them up like that makes filling them in so much easier but now it is time to transition into babiana not gonna lie i low-key don't even want to cut my hair anymore but i'm going to because i'm not gonna chicken out and i've also never had a middle part bob and i'm just you know ready to see how it look on me i love trying new hairstyles new colors all of that so the one bad part is, I am so not the best cutter. Like, I don't think I can cut straight, but I'm about to try my best. I think I'm gonna do it right here. Y'all think right here or shorter? Shorter? Let me not get scissor happy. I'm thinking, I mean, I can always, you can always go shorter, but you can't grow it back. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here oh I'm scared okay I'm gonna do it right here y'all I just feel my finger going down and down because I'm scared okay make sure I do it over the back oh oh y'all can't even see hold on let me let y'all make sure I should make sure y'all can see I'm tripping okay here we go mind y'all I didn't straighten the hair yet I only straightened my hair because I'm like I'm not gonna straighten this long hair and then have to redo it so okay right up this right here is i'm doing it like at this little thing by my shirt i can barely see. oh god okay wait i think i want shorter look y'all i hope y'all can see could y'all see bro i don't even know if y'all could see or not Hold on, I'm scared. And I think I want shorter than what I just did. This is, can y'all see? No. What the, f can we just be great? Can we be great? Okay. This is where I cut it to right there, but I'm thinking a little bit shorter, like it's a bob. 
But then again, what if I wanted to bump it? No, that's my, that might give auntie. <laughs> okay, let me just do this part first. Huh? I am. <laughs> do y'all hear my sister talking about Bobby Young? I need help. You know how to cut? Girl, let me cut. You, do you know how to cut? Yes, I'm cool. I can't uh, Tell me I'm not. Well, I can barely see with this black shirt. But look, this is where it is. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I could do a little shorter. Maybe I should change my shirt so y'all can see. Okay, hold on. I'm finna change my shirt. Okay. So I changed my top. So y'all can see better. Yeah, y'all can see a lot better now. Okay, so I'm thinking this is definitely too long. So, Lana, come on. My sister says she gonna do it. So, to her, come on. <gasps> y'all, I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, yeah, I wait. Think you should do it like right under your chin. No, that's too short. Girl. My hair is right here. I can't go. Yeah, go right there. Go right there. No, I'm gonna go right, right here. That's ugly. You ugly. Oh. Let's try these scissors on a small piece. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, let me. Oh, why is it sticking out? Oh. <laughs> it's stiff. But no, I think I'm gonna like it. Y'all think shorter or like this? Okay, you think shorter or like this? Girl, you go any turn. Let me see. I hate them lights so they be reflected. I'm not glad I can't even really see you. Come over here. Let me see. Yeah, I think right here. Okay, I'm gonna have to go over my whole head, but I think I'm liking this so far. Come on and do the back, Lana. Girl, what? Come okay. do the back. Don't say that if you're not gonna help for real. I actually like these scissors. Where's your super stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, tell her to stop playing with me. <laughs> she trying to call me Edna. <laughs> Give me the scissors. Here. You can't really, you really can't hate me moving your head like that. Okay, I'm gonna be still. Please. Ooh, I need to straighten it though. Okay, I'm gonna be Please still. Please stop. Don't put me in it. Don't put me okay, in it. Okay, okay. I don't even know where this shirt from. Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> it is straight though, y'all. Ramona. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. I actually think I love it. And I think it's going to look so good tomorrow when I, um, have my makeup on and stuff but this basically is the end of today's video but not the entire video just the part one which was like hair and brows I guess just kind of like maintenance tomorrow we're gonna have to pick out my outfit figure out what we're gonna do with these little nubs and do my makeup so make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the video hi you guys so it is now time for part two of the video and i'm super excited because i feel like this is like the part where everything is just gonna come together so nicely so first of course i have to do my makeup but make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe and let's get into this video all right y'all so i'm about to start on my makeup um i'm probably just gonna time lapse this part um for most of it but yeah i'm about to start
All right, you guys, so I am done with my makeup. I really think I did a good job. So I gotta do my hair now. All right, y'all. So I am ready now. Um, for my outfit, I chose to do this, um, you know, one piece little warm, this one piece, what is this called? A onesie? Body a bodysuit? Bodysuit one piece? Hold on, y'all. Okay. So I chose to do this little bodysuit, one piece type thing. Look, ooh, caked up, don't play with me. And then I paired it with this jacket just because the top keeps falling down. I mean, and I just feel like this gives it some extra jazz to it. And then these are the shoes I put on with it. And I'm about to put some white nails on. Let me show y'all my nails. Oh wait, are these it? No, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all the nails when I get in the car, cause I'm not gonna put those on just yet. But this is basically the look. Um, this wasn't what I intended on wearing, but my outfit didn't come yet, so I had to put something else on. So I'm about to put my nails on in the car, which is the next step, and then pictures is the last step. So if you have not already, bro, if you haven't already liked, commented, and subscribed, then I don't know what you're doing, and it's, it's just sad. So go ahead and do those things, and I'm going to tune back in with y'all when I get in the car. All right, y'all, so I'm in the car putting my nails on now. These are just some simple press-ons. Y'all know that's all I wear now is press-ons. I do not like getting my nails done. Cause I be liking to switch my nails like according to my outfit. And if I get my nails done, then I can't do that. But today I'm just doing a really simple like French tip looking now. So yeah. Y'all, and then you know what else? Like, I think some people. Uh uh. Y'all heard that? The police just got somebody. These are so easy to take off. Like, even though I be using nail glue, I literally pop these off every single night. No lie. Alright, so this is how my nails look. Cute. Can y'all see? Yes, just something simple, but gotta have a nail on. So, I'm about to do the other hand, and then I'll tune back in with y'all. All right, you guys, so my nails are on, and I'm ready. So now, the next step is to find a location for my pictures. So, I'm about, I have to go to Linux today. Dang, they just pulled them over right there. But anyways, I have to go to Linux today, so I'll probably be able to find a good location over there. So, if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the final results. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all the location options. So, this is an option, but then I'm worried because the sun is coming from this way, so it might look weird, like this, the sun might just be hitting one side of my face. Um, also, I was thinking this could be an option, like right here in this tent area, but then again, I don't like the sun on my face too much, so, I'm honestly thinking between this wall because it's just the shade. This, but this is giving me too simple. I really think I'm gonna go with this one. This how the wall look. Cause I'm liking this like yellowish color on it. And I like the lines and stuff. I feel like this would be cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pictures right here, y'all. you guys so I am back home now and I will go ahead and insert my pictures right here 
yes you guys so basically this is this video just leveling up with me when i'm down like you need these days where you get cute and go take pictures but this basically concludes this video make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos